Are you using your vision, your mission, and your values as a guide for creating content for your marketing? Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach, and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And today the focus is on strategy. Now, obviously, most of you have probably done a vision, mission, and values, uh, even just for your business plan. But the problem with that is often we do it for a business plan and then we put it in the bottom drawer and we never look at it again. You can actually use it as part of your marketing as an inspiration for creating content as well. And I want to show you a few different ways on how you can do that. Now, a bit of a recap first for anyone who's never done their vision, mission and values and what those mean. And I'll hook up a resource below as well. But your vision is your why. Your mission is the what and the how. And the values are the characteristics that you and your people um, can align with your actions. So super important parts of um, your business in general, but a great thing to be looking at with your marketing as well. So there's three key reasons you want to create a vision and mission statement to help you with your marketing specifically. Now, one of them is decision making. You can use your vision and mission statement to help you make smarter decisions within your marketing. So it's like putting it uh, those decisions through a filter um, to, de to determine whether or not you're going to proceed with that idea or whether or not you need to drop it. Number three is giving you a purpose. So your vision and mission remind you of why you started your business and why you should keep going. Now hook into that even deeper and as the Simon Sinek quote is, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it, then we can be creating why stories. Now I'll do another video because it's a very big topic on why stories and why you need to get beyond just sharing why you started in business. There are lots of different why stories that you can package that in a different way and package means use a different story for the same theme or the same um, message that you have. Um, but I want you to be sharing your why story because, because it's so important in business. And the third reason is a stronger focus on the future. So these statements paint mental pictures that will connect you more deeply to your business and it gives your staff, partners and yourself a greater focus as well. But the key part there is the mental pictures. Now, when we create mental pictures, that's what we're doing with storytelling as well. Storytelling creates mental pictures in the minds of your ideal client to help them make or take action with you. So the mental pictures part, super important as well. So an example of a mission and a vision, this is a local business uh, in the area that I live. The mission is the Disability Trust partners with people and their communities to support life-enhancing opportunities for everyone to live, work and belong in an inclusive world. The vision is creating an inclusive world built on trust, respect and equality where people with a dis disability live the life they choose. Now let's take the line, the opportunity for everyone to live, work and belong in an inclusive world. They create content around that very theme. So one of them is um, Southern Highlands participants attending a weekly art program um, that they then were able to exhibit their work in an exhibition or an, um, at an art gallery. So this is a great example of people be out, being able to live in um, an inclusive world. And the other example there is a uh, disability support worker uh, taking um, Pete off to see Elton John at an Elton John concert. So it's, um, you know, living the life that you want to live. So I think these are great examples. And I think for yourself, what is your vision, mission and values? And how can you create content around those three key pillars? If you have any questions around creating your vision, mission and values, if you're a bit stuck on where to go with those or how to create content from them, please reach out. I would love to help you. In the meantime, uh, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.